everybody welcome to today's video we have vibuff here uh, talking about his latest altrix credential what he earned from the uh, from altrix so rather than me talking about it why don't I have why don't I have vibuff talking about it vibuff why don't you explain our viewers what's going on hey hi raghav um thank you for the session once again so uh, without wasting any time i would like to focus directly on um, our certification as uh, on community we are active and people aware about uh, us and uh, it, it would be great that we directly focus on the topic here so today we are going to talk about micro credential machine learning certification from ortex so this is one of the new certification that ortex has recently introduced and uh, earlier we only had the expert level of machine learning certification but now we have this initial foundation version of the certification as well so in this certification uh, they are directly focusing on uh, the basics of the machine learning like different algorithms uh, pearson algorithm and uh, different data investigation tools that are used and how the platforms for altrix machine learning actually works what are the different configurations different component it has and also uh, different concepts like classification clustering and uh, uh, regression analysis and many more so all these topics which are which covers the basics of uh, machine learning are included in this uh, certification so they give you basic uh, concepts like uh, okay this is the scenario so which particular concept will be utilized or which concept would be best for this particular scenario in the machine learning so all these are the different variants that they they are putting there uh, in order to make you aware that okay these are the concepts that you must know before started working on machine learning so how does how can one know about this uh, certification is there a way where we can know can we see how does this certification what are the prerequisites one can sure uh, sure one needs to follow or something like that yeah maybe i can share my screen and show you that sure. uh, how uh, it works on the portal how it looks in the portal and what kind of knowledge stuff already there on the community which will be helpful for you to start the certification page uh, of the altrix certification uh, on the community so if you see here there are six sets of uh, certifications um we will not go in detail about other certifications our focus today will be altrix machine learning fundamentals micro credentials so in this certification um, uh, as you see that i i'm getting this certified option because i have already given this but the certifications where i have not given you will see register preparation guide options so all these options will appear for you if you have not given this certification before so now what you have to do is uh, um like i have already opened those links where you can see this preparation guide so um, uh, for this uh, particular exam also you will see like uh, it's a free exam and it's a kind of a beginner level for machine learning and it's a 2 hour uh, or i would say basically a 1 hour uh, certification and uh, here you will have uh, almost 40 questions and you will see this preparation user guide option so if uh, i go to the for the machine learning uh, when i click on this preparation user guide i will be redirect redirected to this particular link here and you will see that all the guides for different certifications present over here so when i will click on this machine learning fundamental uh, micro credentials i will be redirected to uh, the link to download the guide so if i click on here i will be redirected to this particular uh, altrix machine learning fundamentals micro credential exam preparation guide so in this guide it is mentioned in detail that uh, what audience it will be uh, like what experience level it will be then all the time slots version uh, attempts you can do in how much time you can do what number of questions are there so all these stuffs and you have to focus on one thing here the question type so there will be multiple choice and multiple response question so in this particular exam there will be no kind of a subjective question where you have to actually prepare a workflow uh, get the input data download the data and all those stuff so uh, that will not be here uh, the only questions here will be the multiple choice questions or multiple response questions and some kind of a matchings 
and each question carrying uh, one marks uh, in case of multiple choice. Uh, and if there are multiple responses, like uh, you have to click on multiple check boxes, so they have additional markings, but uh, we cannot calculate as a uh, user or developer there. Uh, it, it goes on background. So you have to make sure that if you uh, are getting a multiple choice question, then in that case, your all answers should be correct so that you can get additional points uh, uh, with those questions so that uh, you can achieve the passing marks. And 70% is the passing uh, marks for this particular exam here. Now, okay. these are the prerequisites. How do you prepare for it? Yes. Oh, yeah. So, you go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. So here in the outline, you will see what concepts they are working and uh, uh, what uh, weightage they are carrying in the exam itself. So if you see machine learning concepts are carrying 40%, then the data preparation analysis. So this is the first step. So when we talk about machine learning, uh, the first thing that uh, is important is knowing the question or the knowing the target. So what problem you are solving in. And then the second uh, big thing you have to do is uh, prepare the data for that problem. So uh, data can be uh, anywhere and you have to grab it from different in interfaces. Then you have to talk about uh, uh, variables. So which will help you uh, uh, to uh, tackle that uh, problem and prepare a proper uh, machine learning model for that. So uh, th there are these concepts that you have to understand in a, a better way. Then what algorithms are there? What concepts are there? So all these stuffs are included. Then finally, once your model is prepared, then you have to uh, do the interpretation and uh, evaluation. So uh, uh, once the model is created, uh, you have to check whether this model is really working for you or you have to change your parameters, you have to change your variables so that you can uh, build a better model in that case. Also, you have to take care that uh, uh, you have a lot, uh, lot amount of data in order to build your model. Like if you have uh, uh, 100 records, 1000 records, and you are using the same set of uh, data for all the uh, machine learning models. So in that case, your model will be kind of a weak model uh, and it will not work in every scenario. So data is really important here. So all these concepts you have to clarify before landing into giving the exam. About somebody wants to who wants to start with this, is there a way that there are some resources where they can try and test it or? Yes. Yeah. So uh, Alteryx gives you a lot of interactive lessons and also trial licenses for practicing all these stuff. So you can go mm -hmm. to the Alteryx uh, uh, website and download the trial version of the software and try to uh, implement different scenarios. Yes, uh, there is a, a learning part that you have to take care of first because if you do not know how these things work, uh, you cannot uh, actually utilize that license, which is for 30 days. So you simply go to this uh, guide here. We have machine learning interactive lessons. So if I click on this, so uh, you can see that I have tried these lessons. So uh, here you have basic guide like machine learning the process, then framing the question, the data set, evaluation and deployment, then diving into the platform, then preparing data over the platform, and then creating the data insights, and finally, uh, model and export. So it is covering all the sessions, plus uh, uh, these uh, particular uh, videos have interactive concepts, like uh, uh, they, if there are subtopics related to any of these uh, uh, main concepts, then they, they are showcasing with examples that how it will work, what configurations you have to make. So all these details are uh, like uh, explained in detail in these uh, videos which will be really helpful for you to crack this uh, certification and at the same time, get aware about all the concepts that have to be uh, taken care of. Awesome. So now if somebody wants to start, they can just come in here probably. We can, if if possible, please share me this link. I'll put the dis uh, this link in the video description such that they know where they have to go directly. So that will help them to be uh, in the video uh, description. They know all the issues and any kinds of questions and challenges you might you might have faced during the learning, right? They, that might be helpful for the viewers. So um, um, I would like to compare this certification with another uh, foundation certification that Alteryx has. So if I go back to the certification page, 
So this is the Alteryx Find uh, Foundation micro credential certification. So in this certification, what they have done is they have talked about uh, basic concepts of Alteryx with uh, different tool sets. So uh, when I was uh, thinking of uh, giving this machine learning, I was uh, I had this certification in mind, and I was thinking like uh, it will be very easy, and I can go without preparation. But uh, as I am very interesting to learn uh, like uh, machine learning concepts, so I went into detail. I gone through all those interactive sessions, and I grabbed the concepts. And when I actually was giving the exam. I was really surprised that uh, uh, this exam uh, was really testing you with the concepts and the configurations. So it is really important that you uh, grab all those concepts and then give this exam because if you go straight away, you will not be able to read any of the topics if you do not have any background for machine learning. So they will be giving you scenarios and will be asking you what algorithm or what concept it belong to, or maybe uh, this particular scenario suits well with linear regression, or it will suit better with uh, uh, any other algorithm or any other classification or clustering concept. So uh, it's really important that you grab the knowledge first, then try this certification. Otherwise, uh, chances of failure are 90% in that case. So, so try your, uh, do your Alteryx Foundation micro credential, then jump on to your Alteryx Machine Learning Fundamentals. Suggestions for Foundation micro credential also here. Yeah, I mean, it's the same path. Go take a look at the prep guide and look at the credentials or solving into the community. How do you think people can easily make more? So sometimes what happens is having better practice makes a good chance of hitting the exam first time, right? Yeah. So I would say um, if we talk about Alteryx Foundation micro credential, so this certification is uh, quite easy. So if you have basic knowledge about all the tools of Alteryx, then you will be easily able to clear this. And uh, um, I will say it does not require that much preparation if you are already working on Alteryx. But uh, uh, if you are a starter, um, you have not uh, worked on Alteryx before uh, or you have not seen what tools it have, then you have to go through the preparation guide and uh, start preparing. But if you are already working, then I would be uh, saying that it is a kind of a very easy for you. Okay, last question then, my brother. How long does it take? I mean, in your experience with you, I mean, you have been working on Alteryx, but let's say for somebody who has to do Alteryx micro-credential foundation as well as micro-credential machine learning, how long do you think they might have to spend time like 15, 15 days on each on each of it and they should be able to do it or? I think uh, um, if they, they are on a beginner level, then uh, at least uh, two weeks so that they get familiar with all the concepts and the tools and how the tool uh, actually work or governs at the background. So uh, it will really help them to be very organized and they will be easily able to crack the certification. So thank you, Viber, first of all. So viewers, if you have any specific questions on how does Alteryx machine learning my, micro-credential works, uh, put a comment in the comment section below. And if you want to reach out to Viba or me specifically in helping you prepare for the exam or any specific questions, right? You have a certain data set and you want to solve and you want to reach out to Viba. probably sometimes what happens is he's busy, but he can probably give you some suggestions either in the comments or on his LinkedIn Instagram. So... Apart from that, at the end of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few very good videos from WebUp where you will see what are all the, how, what is the designer course certification video, what we did. And also if you're starting on Alteryx, how to create a batch macro and some basic videos which can help you start on an Alteryx journey. So otherwise, till next time, keep tuned, keep asking questions. Thank you so much. If you like our content, please do subscribe. Thanks a lot, Viber, for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.